Hey guys, hope you're doing well. I just want to share a quick tip that carries over from the aquarium hobby, and that is to always be ready in the event of a power outage. So what I have here is a very inexpensive setup. This is a short-term solution, but it could run for quite a long time depending on how much power you need, how big of a battery you have. So the setup here consists of a battery, which you can pick up from Walmart or Pet Boys or AutoZone, any place like that. This one is a marine deep cycle battery, so that's what you need, not a car battery. So the second thing you need is an inverter, which you can pick up at Home Depot. I think this one was about 50 bucks. Uh, basically, follow the instructions that comes with it. You have two wires, and you hook those up to the positive and negative terminals of the battery, and you're pretty much good to go. So in the event of a power outage, you just have to turn on your inverter. And it's got ports in here, sockets. It also has USB ports, which we're not gonna use. You basically plug in your power source into here for demonstration purposes. I'm gonna use a night light, and you can see that it does work. So that's all it is. It's really simple, really inexpensive. But all it's doing is converting uh, 12 volt DC power into 120 volt AC power. What you do wanna do is set it up you know, hook it up to your setup um, and just run it and test to see how long it can last. And that way it'll give you an idea of when you need to recharge the battery. So to recharge the battery, all you need to do is disconnect the positive and negative terminals, take the battery over to like Walmart or Pep Boys or anything like that. They'll recharge it for free. Then you bring it home, hook it back up and you're good to go. So the last part of this setup is a battery charger or a battery tender. This is completely optional. You basically put these alligator clips onto the positive and negative terminals of the battery. Once the power from in your house turns back on, you plug this into the outlet and it helps to charge up the battery. However, I don't recommend you leaving it plugged in. So once it's charged up completely, just disconnect the alligator clips. Also disconnect the socket from your outlets. This way it'll be full for the next time you have a power outage. So that's the quick tip. If you find it helpful, please give me a like. Remember to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you guys next time.